Guys, I wish you could smell this aroma. The ginger, the pimento grain, the cinnamon leaf. Oh gosh. What's up, what's up guys? Welcome back to another one. And today, I'll be making saril juice. You know, it's that time of year, guys. Many host, households around, whether in the Caribbean or overseas, Jamaican or Caribbean people, they always, at this time of the year, have a little saril going, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to show you how I prepare my saril drink, all right? But before I jump into the video, guys, I want to, to please remember to like, share, subscribe, and drop me a comment, all right? If you already subscribed, please leave it at that, all right? Please, guys. So, come on over with me, you know said. So, I'm just going to introduce you guys to my ingredients that I'll be using, all right? Some pimento grains, and the ginger, of course, can't do without the ginger. And, and guys, when you're using the ginger, the, 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 because, see here, I'm using the big ones, you know? So, I've got to use extra big ones to get that that harsh or spicy flavor that you know you're looking for in a ginger. The smaller ones guys they are more spicy, you know. But can't get the smaller ones, so I have to just work with the, the big ones, alright? And I'll be using the maize, alright? So the maize is the outer covering of the, 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 the nutmeg. So let me show you. So 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 the, the nutmeg, so this is the shell. So the maize would be like on here, alright? You know good. A nutmeg you have this around this I'm using. So this is called the, the maize, alright? Yeah man. So over here. My sorrel, you know, you know, you have the nice red sorrel. Now, I mean, this is roughly like a pound and a half, all right. I already have my pot here with the water already getting to the boiling point. So, this I'm just going to show you how I do my sorrel drink, all right. So, now you want to, um, these? yes, guys, so I was saying, whatever you want to use to smash your ginger, you can use a bottle or you want to use a knife, you know, press down, you know, once you have big muscle like this, big hands like these guys, you can use your knife like this, you know, yeah, press it down, or, or you want to use a, use your bottle, you know, you want to use your bottle, so whatever way easy for you guys, all right, so, I'm just showing the both ways, all right? Yeah, man, just like that, guys. As soon as you hit the water, you hit the one, it relieves, release that, um, that flavor, you know? All right, guys, so as soon as I completed smash uh, all these ginger, or, or almost smash these ginger, I get back to you on the other side, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. Yes guys, so I'm at the end of it now. Alright. So I said before, you can use a knife if you want, you can use this, but I, I show you both metal, but I prefer using the, the, the bottle. I use a knife, cut them in half, and then I beat it with the bottle. Way easier. Alright, so yes guys, so thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. So now I'm, I'm gonna move over to my pot here. So so this is Mr. Do it as virgin. Our mommy version, <laughs> and we just add to it and realize, yo, it thing up, you know what I mean? And we decided to make a share with you guys, alright? So, pot over here now. So, my water is like at a boiling point now, alright? So, I'm just going to pop all this stuff in it now. Alright? Look okay, at the ginger. Look at that, guys. Guys, in terms of the water now, ensure that the water is above the the the, the soil, alright? So now I'm gonna have this boil for roughly 10 to 12 minutes, alright? Everybody does their different, but I wanted to try my method and tell me if you like it that way, alright? So this is my version, alright? So I'm gonna have this boil so I Put everything in when the water comes to a boil. Cover it up. I'm gonna crank my stove up. Yes, guys, so 
All right, here we go. So guys, so after 10 minutes, this is what it looks like, all right? As I said before, everyone does their thing different. You know, I hope you guys love it my way, all right? Guys, I wish I could smell this aroma. The ginger, the pimento grain, the cinnamon leaf, oh gosh. And the maize, oh. So now, at this time guys, you wanna put the sorrel petals in. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Look at this. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, man, just like that, you know? I didn't want none to waste, so I'm taking my time, alright? Then, ensure that they all covered, you know what I mean? Are you showing them clearly? Let us see, alright. So, this is what you want to see, guys. Alright? And guess what? At this stage, turn your stove off. You don't want to boil these guys. Turn the stove off, all right? Then cover, all right? So we're gonna, we're gonna have this, what do you say now, steam, or sitting, the, 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 sorry, sitting that liquid for approximately, or should I say at least 12 hours, all right? So at least 12 hours sit there, all right? So guess what? I'm gonna give you, so you're gonna see in part two. I'm gonna give you this video in two parts. So you join me on the other side in part two. I show you how I complete this sorrel drink, Jamaican style. All right. And thanks again, guys, for watching. I really do appreciate it. And please remember to like, share, subscribe, drop me a comment, and tell me about it. All right. And trust me, the surging packs up. The surging got lots of benefits from the surging. But I tell you all about it in part two, all right? So, so, so guess what? Please stay safe for the Christmas and Merry Christmas when it comes. And I hope you all stay safe and be good, all right? So catch you in another one, all right? Peace out.